Hi, this is Sally Jo with Garf, and this is one of my four-tiered propagating unit tanks, and I just cut and propagated these corals about two days ago. And the one thing I love about doing corals here at Garf is to make combinations of different corals on the same club. And what we just tell customers is when the coral gets too big or is starting to grow onto its brother or sister, just take the part of the coral and the glue off, and then pop it off, and then glue it anywhere you want to in your tank. And really, because the more room you give it, the more space you give it, the more it's going to grow. And once you take the animal off the plug, you'll be amazed how fast it grows. It's like it knows, ah, I got room, I can spread my wings. try to put as much on a plug as I can, but sometimes I have to be really careful because when you rubber band them to go out and shipping, you don't want someone to put the rubber band on the coral and then kill it or make it um, hurting it in any way, shape, or form. And I try to put corals on the same plug that like each other. In other words, they're not fighting enemies right away. There's a chance to figure out where you want to put them and just to enjoy them. showing one of my propagating tanks that Leroy just set up for me and you can see I have lots of corals in there but I'm also getting a lot of the diatoms and you can see the bubbles on top of the diatoms growing happily in this tank and I'm going to now introduce a bunch of the ARC janitors, reef janitors, so that uh, you can see how well they work and how delicate they are against the corals. I mean, they really don't hurt the corals. Sometimes they'll knock the coral off a of plug and I just have to reattach it. But they'll really go after the diatoms. There's a great picture of the diatoms. They're just growing, 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 growing and calling for the reef janitors to come eat it. And really, honestly, diatoms are not a bad thing. It's just when they get out of control that it's bad. If we didn't have diatoms in the world, we wouldn't have enough oxygen to breathe. So you can see how the diatoms actually create oxygen because you can see all the bubbles just growing out of it. But it's a sure calling for our reef janitors to come in here and do their duty. We train them well and this tank is ready for them. So this is, um, let's say, hour one before the janitors get put in there and we'll see how well they do. We'll come back and check on this tank in one hour. And for more information about our reef janitors, please give us a call at 1-800-600-6163. Hi, this is Sally Jo with Garf again, and this is before I put the reef janitors in the propagating tank. I wanted to show you how many I put in and the, the variety that I use. There's a better picture of them. These are margaritas, cirrus, nerites. They're not very mobile, but they do a great, great job. And here, my hand, I'm taking a handful of them, and I'm taking them up to their tank, to their new home, and I just drop them in. Drop, 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 all along the front. I just drop them in, or you can drop them in one pile. They'll move and find that algae all on their own.
Mm, they're sniffing around. They're starting to move. Oh, boy. Food. Good. We don't have to live in the tank all by ourselves. We get to eat, 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 eat. So I'm going to slowly drop in the rest of them, and we'll check on this tank in one hour. Maybe sooner. You see right here, it's pretty heavy with diatoms. We'll watch and see them clean out this pathway. Right there. You can see all the way across the sand bed. It's pretty covered with diatoms. Let's see how far they get. I've gotten a lot of the sand already done in the front. They've got a long way to go, but no job that's too tough for our janitors. We're back again checking on this tank to see how the janitors are doing against their diatom. And you can see how they're really starting to spread out and they'll go over every little nook and cranny in here and clean it all up. They've really got onto these plugs and started to clean up all the diatoms on the front glass and on the plugs. And they're starting to really move around, and you'll see a big, 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 big difference. We'll keep monitoring this and see how they do, but they were just in a pile, and now they're all starting to spread out, and they're going to go around and clean up every little space that they can. These are the margaritas, the syrup, and the nerites. And again, what one will eat, the other ones won't. So it's a great, great deal to have a different variety of, of janitors working their way through this new tank. You can actually see where they could get up against the glass, but they couldn't get where the plug was up against the glass, so there's still some diatoms there. But they'll go around, they'll clean everything they can, everywhere they can. And it always amazes me, even though I've done this time after time after time, it always amazes me how good they are at doing this. Hi, this is Sally Jo, and we're back up on here looking at our diatom and janitor experiment. And you can really now definitely tell the difference of how the tank is actually being cleaned by our magnificent reef janitors. They are really putting a dent in any of the algae in the diatoms. And I haven't helped them a bit. I've been playing with my other tanks and they've been working and cleaning. Look at how much work they've done. Look how much cleaning they've done already. Some of them are a little bit lazier than others, but that's just because they're really not interested or they've ate as much as they can eat already and they're saving room for more for tomorrow. They're really, really making a difference in this tank already. We'll follow it again tomorrow and see how much algae's gone. And isn't it amazing how they somehow